Hello, this is Siege Brick Studios, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the uh, 75957 uh, Harry Potter Night Bus. Uh, it has 403 pieces uh, and costs, I think, $40 or $60. I don't know, if you want to get an accurate price, go to another review channel. Um, yeah, it comes with three minifigures. Three and a quarter, I should say, and yeah. So this is the Prisoner of Azkaban Harry Potter that they use in the, I think like three or four sets for this. For this. Sorry about that, but yeah, this is the figure they use in all the Prisoner of Azkaban sets. After this wave, um, he has the new hairpiece that they made for him. And the first wave, it's a nice hair piece. Uh, the printing is, uh, I think, in the same style, but it's new for this wave. And I think it first came out in the Rise of Voldemort set. Uh, if you move it a little bit, you can see the tiny little scar printing. Uh, sorry if you can't see things very well. This camera is absolute terrible quality, at least for recording. I'm hoping to find a way to get a camera. Um, but, yeah, his torso printing is also fairly simple. He has reflective printing for the zipper. Um, that's what it looks like on the back. Just some wrinkles. Uh, he has uh, dark tan mid legs, as people call them. And then he has a standard dark brown wand. This is Ernie Prang, the, right, the person who drives the night bus. Um, he's a very simple figure, but also a very nice figure. Um, he has this simple torso printing that's printed onto an olive green body. Uh, he has this face print, which, uh, yeah, it has, like, a, a bandage holding the, like, together the, the glasses, even though you can't really see it. Face wrinkles, and his beard is very, uh, faded. Uh, he comes with the, uh, the, like, this hairpiece, like, thing. I don't know what it's called, but it has white printing around the back. And he has, uh, no alternate face. Oh, I forgot to mention with Harry, uh, he does come with a, an alternate face. And he's smiling. He has the scar. Um, yeah, and while I'm talking about, uh, Ernie Prang, I should probably also bring up, uh, this. This is, uh, shrunken, the shrunken head that you see in the movies. Uh, yeah, it has the printing here and some stuff there. I guess I should bring that up at some point in the review. Here is Stan Shunpike, the, uh... I don't know, conductor of the night bus, I guess. Um, I think this is the third version of him we've gotten. And, uh, yeah, he has a, a new hat piece. Well, not new, but different from the last two hat pieces they used for him. Where it's the, like, Nabu guard hat piece. Uh, he has some new torso printing with a uh, camera and the suit. He has some uh, printing back here, very simple, no leg printing, and his face looks like that. It looks, if you ask me, it looks very similar to the head they used for the DJ minifigure for The Last Jedi. But, um, yeah, that's it for all three of the minifigures, and let's get to the actual night bus. So here is the night bus itself. Most of it is going to be uh, out of shot at the top. Also, I don't know why, but the camera is picking up the color, like, I'd say more blue than purple, but if you've seen the set, you know it's blue. Or purple, purple, sorry, purple. Uh, yeah, this is very unprofessional. Um, so yeah, let's just start off the front. It says Night Bus there. Uh, with like a little thing above the eye. Um, you can see 
uh, stand in there, kind of, and the shrunken head. The shrunken head does, like, you know, the, stuck on something. I don't know, but, like, moves as you turn it to the side. Um, yeah, the detailing here, here, and here are stickers. Um, if we turn to the side, it uses a lot of these new, I think, 1x3x4 window pieces, or window frames, and then the window piece itself. I believe that's new for this set. It says, all destinations, nothing underwater over here. It says that on the back as well, those are also stickers. Uh, there's a spot here where uh, Stan Shunpike can... Uh, stand. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like from the other side. It has these lights here. And, uh, yeah, the wheels are very nice, uh, with the stud. You know, it's got hair on it. Yeah, it has, uh, some lights at the bottom. And that's what it looks like in the front again. And instead of each level being its own separate one, like in the previous two night buses, uh, you actually just swing out this wall. Uh, yeah, it's very nice, very sleek. Um, uh, yeah, in the middle, there is a bed build that you can slide around and also put a minifigure in. So if I get Stan on one second. Sorry about that, but you can put in a figure in there and then close it up. You can be in there. Uh, let me get this hair off. Yeah, the bed uh, slides around. You might also notice that the chandelier up here also moves as you turn it. Um, yeah, behind there, there's a sticker that says Daily Profit. Uh, yeah, because of the chandelier, there's no second, like, layer. Instead, there's just this little banister and a seat that you can put a figure in. Uh, behind there, it uses two of these 1x2x4 uh, window pieces, or panel pieces. It's clear, and it just looks like that from over there. There's a little area here you can put figures. Um, yeah, that's it for the first and second floor. I'm going to, for the third, uh, like, level or, uh, thing, you don't swing it out, but instead you actually do just remove it, like so. I, yeah, so there you can get a better sense of how the chandelier swings on a Technic pin, and it's just held in with four six studs it has some cheese slopes over here but uh you know move that out of the way oh yeah this is how i keep my camera held up with an old t-shirt yeah this is a very professional review channel but uh yeah this is the like third is it zoomed in yeah it's zoomed in uh third like level or floor um yeah on the back here it just has some clear uh, slope pieces instead of an actual window piece. Um, you can take off the top. It is just like that, and it's held in by these two gray pieces. On the inside, it has a uh, a printed one by two that they've used in several sets. It says "Daily Profit Exclusive Harry Potter: The Boy Who Lived," and has a picture of Harry Potter. Uh, there, um, you also get, uh, there's another build for a bed there, and you can sort of see how they use that to connect in these tilted windows. There is Harry's trunk here, which has several things in it. Uh, it has this little potion bottle, I think it's supposed to be. It also has a piece of chocolate, which is... Uh, from the train scene at the beginning. Uh, that's not a new print. It's come out in a lot of sets. Same with this uh, letter uh, print. P 
piece uh, there you can see it in the shadow it has some blue lines very common although it is my my personal first one of those pieces I've gotten and then the trunk is just in standard brown um, there is a little trouble closing it at times or the person can okay then um, yeah I'm just gonna set the top back on and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, night for the third version of the Lego Night Bus. Um, I think I didn't. Yeah, I didn't show you the angle from underneath. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the set. It's a very nice set. I would recommend it. Uh, it's also uh, six uh, in six studs wide and some amount of studs in length um yeah if you like if you want to like harry potter set i definitely recommend getting this one it's very nice uh a lot of hair gets on it though especially the wheels um but yeah that's pretty much it for this review and goodbye